Hi, it's Dan with Coder Tatsu Studios again, and uh, I thought I'd show you the new add-on for AI Warrior, the radar. It comes free, and you won't have to buy it uh, separately. So it's pretty easy. You just uh, drop it in your scene, and uh, it all should be good to go, except for. Anything you want to show up on it, you need to add uh, this radar adder script, which you can see I already have one on this enemy here, and uh, grab one of the image uh, prefabs here from the radar folder. This enemy has the enemy one naturally dropped in there. Um, but another thing you can do, let's see here, we'll just go ahead grab our uh, we got this cube here Let's see there it is okay now I'll drop the radar adder on there and then just grab the point of interest image okay should be good to go now when I run up there you ought to see it pop up on the radar as well as the two red dots for the the enemies unseen I didn't do very well. Let's uh, turn off our text here. All right. Now you should be able to see it. We got our point of interest up there. It's a big question mark, and then we got our two little red dots. It's our guys. Ugh. Get off me. Not only does this uh, act as a radar, but it also acts as a compass. So, if we grab our radar object here, go open it up and get to the actual radar. And on the radar script, we can uh, the ro radar rotation is based on the camera. So that means uh, when you turn the camera, you'll see the compass move. I'll go back in here and do you that, show you that because I didn't turn the camera. And it, oh, it's showing uh, the enemies in relation to the camera. Now if we switch it to player and it'll grab everything by tags too, so you don't need to populate these unless you're not using a player or a main camera tag. So now you gotta see when my enemy runs around or my player character, the little arrow in the center is turning wherever he's facing, and that's in relation to the north, which is on the z-axis. But uh. It's pretty much it. It's pretty drag and drop. You just drop it in the scene and anything you want to show up, you just add the radar adder <laughs> script, for lack of a better name, and uh, put in the image you want. Now if you want to make a new image, you just uh, go ahead and uh, create a UV image here. And uh, throw in the sprite that you want. Now you'll want to make these uh, smaller, so I find, let's see, 10 and 10 is what I'm using for the enemies. Makes it tiny. And then you just drag, rename your image, and uh, I'll call this one Boss. Say I had a different, uh, I wanted to mark my bosses in the in the game as well. so. We'll drop it in here, and we've now got a boss one. Let's make the boss one a little bigger. That way, when he shows up on the radar, you can tell the difference between him and uh, anybody else. So let's uh, let's see. We got our bruiser here. 
Let's go down to his adder and let's drop the boss on it instead of the regular enemy one. And let's see if it pops up. Yep, great big one on there. And they delete from the scene when you uh, kill the guys. So that is pretty much it. That's the included radar slash compass. Um, thought it'd be a nice little feature, and it's you know completely optional, like most all the add-ons will be, and uh, it's free. So enjoy.